Okay, what is going on guys? So I just got back from the GNC. Um, it took a while to get to the GNC. It took like 30 minutes and 30 minutes back. So it took like an hour. But I finally got it. So what we have here is... Let me put this down here. I went to the GNC. I'll tell you the funny story. So... Essentially what I did was... I've never used pre-workout in my life. So when I walked into there... The girl asked me like she she asked me what are you looking for? I told her I told her give me the strongest give me the strongest pre workout that you have. And I've never taken pre workout in my life. Disclaimer. So she told me that I also asked her um which which pre workout has the most ingredients. So she's like this is the strongest pre workout that we have, and this is the one with the most ingredients. So this is four hundred this is four hundred grams of caffeine in it, and I've never. So the problem with me is I never drink coffee because coffee never does anything for me. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go guns blazing with this with this shit. I'm not like, I'm not fucking around. So this has essentially four cups of coffee. That's how much one scoop is. It's four cups of coffee, I believe. So this is kind of insane. Um, it's got beta alanine in it. It's got, I believe, equivalent to three three point two grams of beta alanine. It's got some citrulline. It's also got uh, kept. Caffeine, I told you guys, it's got tyrosine as well. So it's got all the really good, like most, pre, some pre workers that, I mean, I'm pretty sure all pre workers have all these ingredients, but some are gonna have more, some gonna have less. Some might not even have um, caffeine in it, but this one does. So I wanted to begin one with caffeine, so this is the strongest one they have. This is absolutely psycho. What I'm gonna do, <laughs> so I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put one full scoop in here. I've never used pre work in my life. I have no clue what's gonna happen, but I'm excited, bro. I'm pretty hyped. So as soon as I pop this bad boy open, I'm gonna do my ab workout, and then after I do my ab workout, so basically, the, I'm hoping I'm hoping that this work lasts for two hours, maybe three hours, because I need to do my ab workout and I need to do my um, pull day today. So I'm kind of already tired. I'm hoping I get a big energy boost from this. Also, hope I get a really good pump, because um, that's kind of the reason why I bought this. Uh, I bought this pre workout. It wasn't just because I don't buying it buying it because it tastes good and I want to drink something that tastes good. I'm doing it all for the performance benefits, so I don't really care if it tastes better. Also, I ordered, I ordered a bottle of, of Euphoria, some pre-workout made by David Lane, but um, that one's not going to come in for a while. I don't know why. It's, it's from the United States, so it's from the States, so it's going to take a while for that pre-workout to come in. Here we go. <laughs> this is actually psycho, guys. 400 grams of caffeine, bro. So one coffee doesn't do much for me, but maybe four cups will. I don't know. Let's see, I can't, let's see if I can even open this up first. Okay. Struggling <laughs> to open the fucking. Okay, I definitely need this if I can't open the fucking lid, bro. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Holy shit! Look at that. You guys see that? Oh my god. It looks like some con. It looks like something you use for like paint. Like uh, concrete painting and like a what's it called interior, interior design. It smells good. Oof, it smells like um one of those candy, those sour candies that you get on a stick and you dip it in the candy pop. So you dip it. In, you guys know what I'm talking about. You dip it in the sugar. That's what it smells like. Bro, holy shit, this looks crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. So the plan. Okay. For okay, before we even dive into this, I'm not gonna be recording the work. Okay. So. I'm not gonna be recording the workout today because it's gonna take up too much time, and I already I'm kind of late. I'm kind of late today. I'm supposed to do some studying as well. I need to get some studying in for a test I have on Monday and a test I have on Wednesday, or no, I have a midterm exam on um on Monday and Wednesday, I believe. So I got two mid test mid midterm exams coming up. So I gotta do this real quick. I need to make time for studying. So I have about two hundred and thirty milli milliliters of water here. So yeah, two hundred thirty milliliters of water here. I'm gonna do a full scoop of this stuff. Or actually, does it say one scoop on this thing? We should do half a scoop. There's 20 servings here, it says. Dude, I kinda wanna use, I kinda wanna do a full scoop, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But that might be a lot, I don't know, man. I don't know, that might, maybe that'd be too overkill, guys. Uh, it's also a little. Okay, gotta take that out. I think I don't think I would need that in there, right? 
do not eat. Okay, I, don't, I think we should take that out. I don't think we need this. Okay. Maybe I should only do one a half, guys. I don't know, man. This is a little bit sketchy. <laughs> this is a lot, guys. Like, when I, okay. So when I was looking at this, right, I was like, I looked at the moment I saw how the size of the scoop, I was like, holy shit, this is no, this one scoop, that's crazy. That's a lot, bro. Can't even lie, that's a lot. Um, maybe I'll do half a scoop and then tomorrow, or not tomorrow, shoot. On Monday, I'm going to be working out the gym. Uh, um, well, I told you guys I would do one scoop. I can't really push it out now. It's too late now. It's too late now. Okay. This is going to be insane. Dude, I'm going to run out of this stuff so fast. If I do one scoop a day, I'm going to run, I'm gonna run out of this shit so fast. So that's kind of the problem. Uh, you know what? After I take one scoop... For the rest of the remaining times, I'm only gonna do half scoop. I think this, I can already look at this too much. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just freaking do this shit, bro. Come on. Okay, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is nuts. A whole scoop of free workout. I've never taken. Like, I know I've seen like videos on like, uh, cause I watch a lot of bodybuilders and stuff, and people like, um, Demi Kernan and. And a bunch of all those guys, some of David Lane's are friends, his YouTube channels, and they always do like half a scoop of pre-workout because they're like a whole, a whole, a whole uh, scoop of pre-workout is a lot. So I've never, this is insane. This is my first time doing it. I'm doing a shit ton, but bro, I, I'm not fucking around. So I'm hoping this does something. Um, I'm going to shake it for like a minute. Oh my god. This is so cursed, bro. This is so cursed. Maybe I'll sip on it. I'll sip it on it. I'll sip on it and I'll talk to you guys while I'm doing this. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, let's get it. Prophecy of it. Can you guys see that? I'm using I finally got to um dude I really want the euphoria to come in bro. I really want to try the euphoria. But that's not gonna come in a while because I already told you guys it's from the States, but Okay. That's good. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I'm fucking pumped, bro. I hope I get this better be the best pump of my life, bro. I swear to god. Okay. Hopefully I shaked it up enough. Oh my god, that is strong. That is super strong, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna sip on it a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna let go of a full, full chug. That's just insane. Oh my god. It tastes like straight chemicals, bro. <laughs> it tastes like straight chemicals, bro. It tastes like, um... I don't even know how to describe it. Oh my god, ugh. I want to drink something that tastes good. I'm doing it all for the performance benefits, so I don't really care if it tastes better. That's super strong. Yeah, don't do a full scoop of pre workout guys. <laughs> do like half, bro. Okay. Um... Ugh. It tastes like a very um how would I say, say this? The acidity is a lot more based than it's not okay, that's a lie. It is a little bit acidic. It tastes it's like straight chemicals, bro. Holy shit. It's like straight chemicals, bro. This is nuts. Ooh, it's hard to get down, bro. It's hard to get down. <sighs> look at the color of that, man. Can you see that shit? Look at the color of that, bro. Holy shit. It does not look very appetizing, bro. <laughs> Ooh. It 
It tastes like somebody put Sour Patch Kids and toothpaste together. And then they add, and they add some chemicals. That's what this tastes like. It tastes like toothpaste added with some pa Sour Patch Kids. I mean, some Sour Patch Kids have been left over for like, for like two or three weeks. Actually, no, that's a lot. I think two or three weeks would still be good. A pat, uh, pack of Sour Patch Kids have been left over for, for, um, for a month. And then somebody just, for some reason, opened the fucking Sour Patch Kids and decided to put it in a cup and put some toothpaste in it and put, toss in some, like, chemicals, some, like, detergent or something. <laughs> That's what this shit tastes like, bro. But I'm hoping that, that, I mean, based on the ingredients, okay, it, it, obviously it's probably going to take like taste like chemicals. There's, like, shit ton of ingredients in there. Bro, I better get some crazy pump off of this, bro. I just use a whole scoop of this. Yeah, don't use a whole scoop, guys. Don't use a whole scoop. Use half a scoop of pre-workout, bro. <coughs> oh. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> My throat. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die on camera, guys. Don't worry. I'm not gonna die on camera. This is this is strong, bro. Yeah, don't get it. Okay. I just touch the back of my throat, and that's just burning in the back of my throat now, but it's okay. <clears throat> Maybe I'll drink some water after this. I'm not sure if I'm not supposed to drink water after with the pre-workout, or if I'm supposed to do that, or if I'm allowed to do that, but I'm guessing it'll be okay if I do that. Okay. <clears throat> just a little bit left. Here we go. I'm going to add some more water. I think there's still a little bit left. I'm gonna get a little bit of water and, wa and wash it down. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Dude. Bro, I'm hoping the beta, okay, so I'm gonna wait for 15, 30 minutes. And I need to do my, I already told you guys, I need to do my ab workout, I also need to do my pull-ups, or my pull day today. So I need to do, that's the reason why I'm taking it. This better last for two to three hours. If it doesn't last for two to three hours, I'm in trouble. Cause um, I really need this for the pull day too. Cause I'm gonna do ab, I'm gonna do the abs first. Okay. <sighs> Yo, this is crazy. Ugh. That's it. Okay. I want to finish this whole entire thing, bro. I'm, I can't waste any of it, man. I spent too much money on this. It's one hundred three dollars. It's fifty five dollars per each each. It's just freaking fifty five dollars right here plus tax, bro. It's expensive as shit. Can't waste any of it, bro. <clears throat> okay. Well, my back, my back of the throat is back of my throat. Is, sorry, I can't tell. My back of my throat is burning a little bit. That's okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna put on the timer for 15, 30 minutes, and then after the bit, I can after the beta alanine. Hopefully, I can feel it. Apparently, it's supposed to do an itchy effect on your mouth. It's supposed to be feeling itchy, or your body is starting to feel itchy. Hopefully, that starts coming in and start feeling that tingling sensation. And then. I'm gonna hit the workout. I'm not gonna be able to record the workout like I told you guys because it's already one o'clock right now. I haven't even ate lunch yet because I spent so much time going to the GNC. I'm going to hit this workout after 15, 30 minutes. I'm gonna do the abs and the pull day. And the abs should only take me like 30, 40 minutes. And the pull day is gonna take probably an hour. So it's gonna be like a two hour workout session. It's gonna be nuts. But I'm hoping I get some insane pump off of this, so. Stay tuned. I'll be back in the washroom probably with the camera and I'll show you guys my results. Alright. Let's go guys. So, just finished the workout. I worked up for an hour and a half, which is fucking obnoxious. That is insane. But the most craziest part is not the fact that I worked up for an hour and a half. Although that probably is the craziest part. The fucking crazy part is somehow I'm not sore after doing that hour and a half workout and, and I can somehow like I can probably go ahead and pick up my 30 pound dumbbells and I can keep doing the 30 pound fucking curls bro 
But I'm not gonna do that because it's fucking insane and that's obnoxious. I'm not gonna keep working out. Just an hour and a half is already is already way over my limit. I'm supposed to do a 45 minute workout, but because I do the ab workout, the ab workout is at least 20, 30 minutes, plus the pull day. The pull day is like fucking forever. Or any any workout, the push and pull that's not legs. Well, actually, that's a lie. Legs takes forever too. But legs is not as bad. But the push and the pull days are fucking horrible. Because I don't get that. I'm pretty fucking strong. So, because I'm pretty fucking strong, it takes like forever for me to get tired. So, I had to work up for an hour. I, don't know, so I can probably keep going, but um, I'm done. I am. I think I'm done. I'm not going to keep pushing myself. So, we're going to check out the pump. Pump. My chest is getting a little bit better. My chest is getting a little bit better because I am doing the um, the ab workout every single day, like I told you guys. I am doing that workout every single day. So I'm just gonna run through the poses real quick. I'm fucking tired. I didn't eat lunch yet, so I'm just gonna run through this shit real quick. Let's go with the first one. First one. Anyone? Okay. Feeling a bit lightheaded, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Feeling a little bit lightheaded. Feeling a bit dizzy. Three, two, one. Flex as hard as I can. Next. To the back. Oh my god. Oh, I'm fucking tired, bro. We're not tired, just my head hurts. Next. Three, two, one. I don't know if my back, I think my back's getting sort of better. I don't know, I can't tell. I've been going really hard, guys, on the pull-ups. I've been really trying to do the wide grip pull-ups so that I can try to work on my rear delts. Really trying to push myself to do that, but for some reason, I'm still not getting results. I'm guessing because I never worked my back. When I, when I worked out, I never actually, like, the reason why I'm focusing on my back now is because apparently, Apparently, like, so I can fit this, I can fit this t-shirt pretty much now, right? But the thing is, I could actually fit the t-shirt even more if I started working my back. Because if you just work the front of your chest, you just work the front of your chest, right? That's going to make up 50% of your chest. But then the other, or actually 75% of your chest, I think, is working the front. But you're also missing the extra 25. And the extra 25%, I believe, is from your back. So in order to actually fit your t-shirts if, you if that's your goal, you gotta work on your back. You can't neglect your back. You also shouldn't be neglecting your legs too. I mean, I don't do cardio, but I do do legs. So I do do legs at the gym at my campus. So that's that. But anyway, let's do the back. Let's do back flex. So we can do it properly. Put it inwards. I think I'm doing it right. Okay, I think that's it, right? Is there one more? I think that's it. Shit. I want to take a look at this myself. Dude, my chest is getting a lot more better now. Super bloated, but I don't know if I'm repeating myself, but yeah, I am because I am doing the ab workouts. My chest is starting to get, um, I told myself that I wouldn't do the ab workouts because I'm bulking, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it anyway. It'll be pretty cool if I can get like a V shaped looking chest. If I get a V, v I can get a V taper with like the biceps, it'd be pretty sick. But I wish my back was more developed, bro. I don't know what's going on with my back. My back is really lacking, even though I've been really trying to push it. I've been doing the incline. Incline, um, incline, uh, incline rows, incline dumbbell rows, where you bend over a little bit, you hold the bench like this, just like this, Please, you split your legs apart, you want to pull up like this, that's supposed to activate your, your, um, your back delts, bro, I've been doing that, I'm doing the rows, I did both sides, and then, of course, the pull-ups, like a wide grip pull-ups activate the back. I mean, you can kind of see the back traps a little bit, but not really. 
So I have a lot of work to do there, unfortunately. It's gonna take freaking forever to get those things developed. But yeah, anyway, that's, that's it for now, guys. I'm done. So far, it's been pretty good. So what do we learn today? Well, what we learned today is don't take one gram of pre-workout unless you're fucking crazy and cuckoo. Now, the good news is the caffeine doesn't do much for me, surprisingly. So that's good news. The beta alanine, I barely felt the beta alanine. I don't know if that's just, I don't know what's wrong with me. My body is weird. I barely felt the caffeine. And I also barely felt the, actually no, that's a lie. I felt a little bit of the beta alanine. I felt it in my legs and a little bit on my back, but not on my face. Actually, maybe a little bit on my face over here, but that's about it. Not, I didn't itch any of my face, it wasn't that itchy. So I did feel the beta alanine kicking a little bit. My stomach does feel a bit fucked up because I think it's still digesting. Like when I was doing the ab workout, I could still feel the, the pre-workout in my stomach digesting, which is really not good. Feels the like chemicals brown, but whatever. So, would I recommend the pre-workout? <laughs> yes. Yes, I would rec recommend the pre-workout because there's just no way I could work out for an hour and a half without getting tired. Like, I'll say like mid-workout, I can start feeling it kicking in. So, it's honestly amazing. Would I say that you should do pre-workout every single day? No. I don't think you should do pre-workout every single day. I think you should do, I should think you should do pre-workout every other day. So I'll, I'll, I won't do it tomorrow, but I'll do the day after. Actually, it's a lie. I, don't, I won't do it on the weekend at all. Because the weekend is going to be my off day, I think. So on Monday, when I go to the campus, Monday I have a fucking midterm exam, so that's going to be fun. I'll do that. But on Monday, I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to go to the gym in the morning, and then after the gym, I have to go down to the north campus at the university, and I have to do the midterm exam. But I'm pretty good with tests, so that's okay with me. So, in, in, in the review of pre-workouts, don't take it every single day, take it every other day if you want. And don't take a full scoop of pre-workout like I did, unless you're a fucking maniac. Don't do that. Do have that scoop of pre-workout. And yes, this is definitely, I recommend it. Even if, you, even if caffeine doesn't benefit you and you're not, so, like if you're somebody like me, Who's like pretty tolerant to caffeine? I'd still recommend using pre-workout because you get the extra strength boost, the extra strength boost. So yeah. But I'm gonna get off. I need to eat lunch because I still haven't ate, ate lunch yet because I'm a fucking crackhead right now. It's just worked up for an hour and a half, so I'm gonna eat lunch. And so it. Is. But this transformation has been nuts, guys. Like if I want to get my abs back, if I can get like a V taper, it's just gonna be fucking wicked. But. I'm gonna get off, I'm fucking dizzy, so that's it for me. Hope you guys have a good day, and uh, yeah, definitely highly recommend trying pre-workout.